Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for €5 Euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material. Does anyone have any Sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes. After that, I think you scored five points for the rest of the day. Yeah. What do you think about that? I don't know. It was obvious we were very flat in the second half. Um, we knew, obviously, Mayo and they had done it in the Connacht final as well. Um, we're going to come with a lot. Um, I think just we found it very difficult to get out past their high press and we struggled to build any sort of momentum. and. Um, a couple of mistakes, a couple of bad decisions maybe made, and uh, and we just I, I thought at one stage if we could get a score or two, um, it might start to ease the pressure and we'd um, we'd uh, ride out the storm. But we just ne- never could get that extra score, that additional score that was going to put that safe distance between us, and and you could see it building then, and it was very hard to disrupt their momentum that. They obviously generated significantly and got back into it and you know got the draw and won an extra time obviously. What did you tell your guys at the end? Did they like to reset for extra time? Was that difficult? Yeah, well, it, I think we were we probably had played so badly in that second half that you, you felt we were going to you know try and make amends and yeah. redress that situation. Um, and we just the black card then really when when legs are tired and there's a lot of fatigue in the system a black card at that stage is a killer and uh, it was very very difficult for us to get the ball back you know and um, uh, a black card at any stage is is problematic uh, the way teams are so capable of keeping possession but um, particularly in in extra time uh, as I say when there's a lot of tired bodies tired limbs it was exceptionally difficult then for, for our lads at that stage so um, that probably um, spelt the death knell at that stage you know there's a lot of conflict that doesn't perform properly and you know you can see it in the Um, not not particularly. Obviously, you'd you would like to be coming in um, to this stage of the competition with a little bit more momentum, or um, you know your collective team form a little bit better than it was. You know, there was we showed glimpses of it here and there, and good patches, really good patches, and I was looking for that consistency. I think that we we're missing all year, and um, and again, first half looked really good at times, and just the second half um, was the exact opposite of that. You know, so um, it, it's hard to diagnose, Connor, but it's you know I, I think it. it revolves around the lack of consistency across the quarters that was hurting us and uh, it manifested again today. Mm. Uh, the, the massive disappointment obviously um, you know what, what that group have achieved or, or the vast majority of them um, has been tremendous and um, and it's you know they've managed today to keep going back to the well and keep doing it and keep doing it, um, which I can assure you isn't easy when you know the hours uh, that goes into it and, and the commitment that's required and, and the detail in behind it. Um, a lot of people see players turn up here on a Saturday or Sunday and you know don't really understand how it takes hold of your life outside of that. And for them to be able to consistently do that over the last. Um, five six years, as I say, the bulk of them. Uh, that's been a phenomenal achievement, you know. So, um, uh, so it's some of them have obviously experienced this before. Uh, a lot of them haven't, you know. So, but overwhelmingly, it's it's disappointment in there, and that's natural enough. Um, I, I don't know, to be honest, I'd, I'd have to sort of review the tape on that, but I, I just think it was that high press and there was a strong breeze down there. We were 
we um, weren't sort of retaining enough pos primary possession off our own kick out. Uh, a couple of big balls there, uh, breaking balls that uh, our momentum shifters as well that, that we didn't we didn't uh, capture. You know, so um, it was um, yeah, it was it was tough to watch in that second half for sure, and um, you know. Those a lot of those lads have been such warriors over the years. It was just you, you could see that um, the limbs and the bodies were tired there, and uh, and it was just hard to really regenerate any level of momentum from from anywhere in that second half. And um, you know that that's the nature of sport, and sometimes those things happen, and it's it's hard to come up with a fix or a solution for it. Yeah, look, as you, I, I think we're always, um, you know, in a state of, of transition, you know, players come and go, and that's been the case. There's been a significant amount of that over the last uh, two seasons. Um, I, I'm not sure what's what's going to happen next season. I'm sure some individuals reflect on where they're at and, and uh, can they go again. Um, as I say, it's not easy to keep going to the well, but um, anyway, that'll be a decision for, for some individuals. But there's a lot of new blood in there as well and that, that need time and need exposure. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of fellows will be looking to looking forward to getting that type of time in the National League uh, whenever that comes around. Yeah, I'm I'm sure and I think Dublin supporters by and large like it's they'll they'll still remember when there was a dearth of um success in this county um, and that's not too long ago uh, um, so I'm sure they appreciate uh, what's gone on in the last number of years and uh, I'm sure they'll they'll afford the team and the, these players um, whatever level of uh, patience or courtesy or whatever is going to be needed over the next uh, period of time you know but um, you know who, who knows what lies ahead like as I say there's um, while there's transition and the team continues to evolve, um, there's still a lot of young, good blood in there, you know, that um, uh, will be will be excited about what the future holds for them. And it's important for us, I think, um, management, uh, county board, supporters, um, not to quench those dreams and to, and to try and facilitate and encourage an environment where, where those individuals can flourish as well and step up to be be similar or maybe have the same success as uh, a previous generation. I know the game is just over, what's your thoughts on Mayo? Like they have come, they have come to the so often. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And you have to have nothing but uh, huge admiration for them. Um, you know, and I think it's something we touched on inside ourselves as a group. The, um, you know, the Dublin team have been, have been very humble and have shown a lot of humility in victory over the years. And uh, I think we're, uh, were exceptionally gracious in defeat as well, and you know, hats off to Mayo. They were uh, that second half performance was, you know, we just couldn't live with them, and and the best team won at the end of the day. Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material.